Welcome to my channel. This is too cute for cancer. Too for cute. <laughs> this is too cute for cancer. My name is Jody, and I can't speak apparently today. So I think my thumbnail read um, fat, lazy, unfocused. I can help. Well, guess what? I can. I can help you because guess what? I suffer from the same thing. And you may not even be fat. You might be skinny. You might be perfectly proportioned, whatever. But maybe you're a little unfocused. Maybe you're depressed. Maybe you are lazy <laughs> or unproductive. I, I think now you say, I'm unproductive. You don't say I'm lazy. <laughs> anyway. Okay, well, guess what today is? Guess what tomorrow is, actually. Tomorrow is the start of our crazy, sexy diet. The Chris, we all got together, we read the book, and if you did not read the book, that is absolutely perfectly fine because we can still do it together because this is not an all or nothing thing. I know in the book it says, like, you can do this, this, that, you know, but we're going to do it anything works anything that works for you we're going to do it but we're going to do it for 21 days and we're going to do it together um i mean we may start a day it's okay if you have to start a day late or whatever but 21 days roughly together um and we're going to support each other through it okay so, but before we start i want to go through what exactly it is that we're going to be doing because that makes it so much easier what is the crazy sexy diet oh I'm so glad you asked <laughs> I've got it right here um, the crazy sexy diet is a low-fat vegetarian program that emphasizes balancing the pH of your dazzling body with your lush whole foods low glycemic fruit raw veggies alkalining greens drinks and super powered smoothies okay so um, that sounds like a lot, but really it's not. The Crazy Sexy Diet is flexible. Even small changes will give you the great results. All right? You can do 80-20, um, 60-40, those two things, and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, but basically, it teaches you how to go more on a vegetarian uh, lifestyle. And even if you do eat meat and you choose to keep that in, it teaches you how to add a lot more whole foods in, a lot more greens, a lot more veggies, a lot more fruit in. And it's amazing because when the first time I did this years ago, when I first got sick, I, I just, you know, I wasn't really sure what I was doing. But the one thing I knew is I needed to eat more greens. I, need to, I needed more veg. So what I did was I just started like when we go out to eat i'd have like fish i love salmon so i had fish and then i would say okay instead of um potatoes i'll have all vegetables you know just made that one change and then instead of having a bowl of soup like like clam chowder soup like i usually get i would have a green salad okay so those are the first things the first things that i started doing and those were hard for me because I missed my carbs and everything. I was like, mm -hmm. it was really hard. Well, after a bit, it became easier. And then I just started adding, I just automatically started getting a salad instead of this, a, a veggie instead of fries, you know, all that stuff. Then came getting rid of the, the milk products, the cheese, the dairy, all of that stuff um, was probably still the hardest. And so that's why today, I am 90% vegan. That means no animal products, period. Uh, milk, cheese, nothing. Eggs, nothing. And 10% vegetarian, which vegetarians can have, you know, they can do cheese, milk, eggs. They just don't do the, the meat. So what I do is I do 90%, trying to get it to 100%. At home, I definitely do 100%. And then when we go out, like if someone has made um, fresh bread for the table and I know there's egg product or something in it, I'm fine, I'll eat that. Or if um, someone invites us out and the only thing on the op on the menu is cheese and gelatas, you know, because they say, oh, they're vegetarians, we can go there, you know, it's like, Arr. 
So I'll have a I'll have a cheese enchilada, a taco, you know, just no meat. So that's where my 10%. That's my that's my cheating area, my my less than perfect area, and then the rest is vegetarian. But you, I've asked you guys to come up with what you thought you could handle. So if you can handle maybe you know giving up meat on mondays and then cutting down on cheese and dairy you know just swapping out um your your carbohydrates for some green veg and stuff like that you just have to know where your where your line is but we're gonna teach you how and we have been going over we've gone over sugar we've gone over um animal protein we've gone over to what that does in our body especially if we're sick the inflammation that it causes. Uh, we've gone over that. Now we're going to go a little deeper today, and then I'm going to read off the the 21 day rule, the rules, or what we could be following. So, um, let's see. Going to my next little portion here. Okay. Our bodies are designed to live within a narrow pH range, slightly on the alkaline side, slip into acidity, and the multitude of problems arrive. Yes, that's where our pain, our arthritic pain, our uh, swollen, you know, the swollen joints, um, pain in general, anything, headache, that all comes from being out of balance in your body, your pH balance is, is out of whack. And if you remember, uh, I think three videos back, I'll put up a link here and you can listen to it. We talked about the fish tank and the pH levels and how if, you're, if your fish tank is not, you know, uh, slightly alkaline, if it's not balanced, then it, everything gets murky and green and just like boom, everything's gross inside the algae starts growing. That's in, that, that was a visual for me to kind of understand. That's my body when I eat too many, you know, acidic foods and I, you know, put too much uh, processed junk in my body and it makes inflammation and stuff. So by eating this way, it, it keeps you in a, an alkaline state, a nice little balanced state. So that is one of the goals. That's one of the things that's one of the main things we want to do. We don't want to be in pain. Um, let's see. It oh, fights free radicals, uh, enzymes, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. Um, all that comes from plant-based foods. So if you're asking, well, how can I get my body like in, you know, in the right way? You can actually get strips. I've done it before and I can see big time if I've gone off my program at all and eaten anything too uh, acidic. I, I, you do the P test, you look at it and it comes out, you know, where you're at on the scale and oh my gosh, it is, it's very eye opening. And I always know when I'm in really bad pain, I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna go and I do the test. I test the strips. Bentley, what are you doing? I'm sorry, my little doggy. He thinks that he owns everything. Um, I do the strips and they come out that I'm very acidic and it always matches on a bad pain day. So that is, it's just a little bit, it's another visual. <laughs> anyway, so um, we are gonna up the consumption of alkaline foods, reduce the amount of acidic foods and uh, raw foods like you know veggies uh, eat more of that more blood sugar and stabilizing greens and less sugar more chlorophyll and less less chaos <laughs> that's what she says less chaos so basically we're gonna up our veg so be thinking about what you can do in your daily your daily um daily life that you could add some more veg in and we're going to show you because for 21 days you guys are going to come along with me i'm going to vlog every single day and i'm going to show you what i eat how we shop we're going to go through it all so if you have any doubt after this i'm just kind of prepping you up right now for this okay um let's see okay then it talks about digestion and um Pooping, yay, that's a fun subject now, isn't it? <laughs> um, if you're not going regularly, that's backing, that's backing you up and that's causing acidic, 
that just causes, it causes more than crap, but it causes an icky environment. Just think about if you left, um, this is really gross, but I'm going to say it. Say you leave your toilet unflushed after going number two, and you just leave it sit. Love it, sit for a couple days and see how awful that would look and smell and all the yuck that goes in there. They actually did studies on people that live in areas where the sewage is not, where there's a lot of sewage and there's deadly fumes and there's a, there's a bunch of crap coming off of um, the sewage. And so that in your body, you do not want it to sit in your body and cause any kind of anything. So I don't think we need to talk about poop anymore. Uh, sorry guys. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so sometimes people say, but I can't go vegetarian. Where am I gonna get my protein? I'm like, oh my gosh, bang, bang, bang. It's such a myth. <laughs> It's such a myth that you need all this protein. And yes, you can get your protein. It's okay. <laughs> Greens, beans, lentils, nuts, seeds, sun. You can get your protein. Just let me tell you. It is so, so easy. Um, oh, and calcium. Everyone's always like, oh, but I need my milk for my calcium. My grandma had osteoporosis. Okay, I'm not making fun of grandma here but I am telling you that milk actually is full of sugar. It is not the milk that your grandma used to make, and you, or drink, make. <laughs> um, it's, it, it depletes your body of protein. It actually, is, it's like a, like a leech. It sucks it out. They've done tons and tons of studies, but you know what? Milk and dairy people don't want you to know that because that would kill their industry. Remember when, um, Oprah blew the whistle on uh, the beef industry, how they were killing their animals and everything. She said, I'm never gonna eat beef again. And they sued her because you know what? They don't want anybody to know that anything is wrong with their products because it's a mass, it's a million, billion, trillion dollar industry. So, but I digress off my soapbox. Milk, you do not need it to get calcium. You can take a calcium pill, you don't even need that. You can just eat a lot of greens <laughs> and boom, you have all the calcium that you want. And it actually goes into you and, and it works for you instead of takes from you. Okay, so the calcium thing, uh, dairy causes mucus buildup and has linked to a variety of illnesses from asthma, arthritis to Crohn's disease. Okay, we've talked about that. Um, Behind every pound of meat uh, sold lies a cascade of hidden cost to our health, economy, and environment. Yep, we talked about that. It says, try weaning yourself off animal products. Start slow. Cut them one at a time, one per week, and then build up to more. Okay, we have been talking about this for a while, but um, I am not asking everybody to go vegetarian, vegan with me. If you want, you got the book, you read it, you, you see what the, this stuff does to you, you know what you can handle, it's all about consistency. If you cannot be consistent with whatever you, you set up in your mind that you're gonna go with, then it's not gonna work. So if you say, if you are a meat and a potato girl and you have a bag of chips every night for, for a snack and you say, I'm gonna go 100% vegan with Jody then guess what? You're gonna get up in the morning, you're gonna shop, you're gonna get all your veg and stuff, and then you're not gonna want, you're just gonna be like, your taste buds are gonna be like, ooh, I don't like that, you know? I don't mm, I, I don't know what to do with this stuff. And then the stuff is gonna rot your refrigerator and you're gonna say, I tried, I feel like a failure, and I don't wanna do it again. So we don't want that to happen. We want you to succeed. So I want you to really think, what do you think you can handle? What change can you bring from all the knowledge that we've been studying? How, what can you do with that? What little change can you do and be consistent with? Okay, so that is, that is my whole thing with this whole 21 day thing. And the 21 days, you may ask, why 21 days? Well, guess what? 21 days is what it takes to change a habit. So if you can take anything out of this 
and make it a positive for 21 days and do it, then you have yourself a new habit. Then guess what? You can do it again for the next 21 days and pick something different that you want to detox or abstain from. So there you go. All right, we talked about the pooping. We don't want to talk about that anymore. And, um, oh, this is my favorite, favorite part of the whole book. This is the stuff that, sorry, my shirt's falling off. This is the part that saved my life. I'm seriously, hand to God, it was juicing. And people ask me all the time, well, Jody, why are you like throwing all the fiber away? Because the fiber is so good for you. And that is true. You can make smoothies and keep the fiber and do that that way. That is 100% okay. But when your body is ill, when your enzymes are, are messed up, when you are depleted of nutrition from illness and there's inflammation all through your body, you need a 911. And a smoothie is not going to do it as well as a green drink. And when I say a green juice, I'm not saying the kind that comes in the bottles that have sugar and a bunch of fruit in it. I'm talking and I'm going to show you my, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to show you my, my, my uh, juicer and how we do it and everything. So anyway, I'm so excited. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow. Um, okay, so I'm doing kale, romaine lettuce, cucumbers, and a green apple. To start out with, I wouldn't start out with the kale. I would just do uh, cucumbers, romaine, and a green apple. You juice that. You put a little lemon in it. Sometimes people put cayenne pepper in it. <sighs> Not for me. I put a ginger root sometimes in it. It gives it a little, you know, pop, a little yum. Uh, or if I just want it sweet, I put a little bit, and I know you're not supposed to do this, but I'm diabetic, so I can't put like honey or agave because that just shoots my sugar up. So what I do is I put a little bit of stevia in, sometimes sweet and low or whatever we have, I put that in. I try to stick to the stevia because... Okay, so I ran out of battery, sorry. <laughs> not me, but my camera did. <laughs> okay, so juicing. Okay, so you could choose to do a... Um, a smoothie that's fine you get all the fiber but green juicing it takes all of the greens the energy and everything all that you that you would normally chew it just takes it down no energy required it only has the pure goodness in it it has all the enzymes the chlorophyll everything in it the vitamin D the vitamin C the endless list of everything the calcium the protein everything all just squished down into this little juice that you just have to effortlessly effortlessly take a drink and that's it you don't have to drink guzzle, guzzle, you know guzzling it down i do three a day just little tiny ones and that's it i make it in the morning it goes through the day and that's it so easy but this is the thing people say well i would rather eat my greens okay once again you're using so much energy to eat your greens did you know you guys are going to be amazed at how much greens that I drink? If you went to eat as many greens as I juice, you would be sick. You would have sores on your tongues. You would be pooping everywhere. <laughs> what is with me and poop today? I don't know. But you don't want that in your life, people. You really don't. So, ah. So, um, the greens, like for example, you will see when we when we do it. I have a huge pile of kale, a huge pile of romaine lettuce, a huge or two things of uh, cucumbers, and then I have uh, a green apple. Sometimes two green apples, whatever floats my boat that day. You put all of that mass. If you were to sit down and eat that during a day, you would not be able to do it. So another reason why juicing is the that's like the champ of everything. That's the crown jewel of whatever. So juicing is important. Now, if you can't juice and you just, that's okay. You can do a smoothie and you can still put all those green nutrients in there. You'll have the fiber and you'll have to eat a little bit less, but maybe you'll have to just maybe eat more smoothies add an extra smoothie in to get you what you need but if you're ill and if you have cancer if you're sick then the juicing is the way to go 
All right. So, um, okay. Now we're going to talk about water. Water, 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 water. Everybody in the world knows that water is a good thing, right? Well, um, it is. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you how much to drink. You guys know you're supposed to drink a lot. You know how they say eight glasses a day, and that's eight 12 ounce or eight, eight ounces, I think is what it is. Um, I drink more than that. I drink like half my body weight. I'm not telling you what that is either. <laughs> but the more water you drink during this, the better results you are gonna have. And it's so hot out right now. It's already like 110 out today. So I think that water is not really a problem. Now, this is the one that is getting my husband all in his panties in a bunch. He doesn't wanna give up his coffee because he drinks like tons of it a day and he enjoys it there's something anytime anytime there's any diet if he has to give up coffee he doesn't do it so he knows himself he knows that's something he can't live without he says <laughs> um so we're gonna give that to him he's gonna have his coffee but he's cutting it down from like four a day to two a day or something like that okay me i don't I'm okay with a cup of coffee in the morning, but I could go years without having a cup and not even noticing it. So coffee is not my thing. Um, what I do is I have a cup of, um, it's tea that tastes like coffee. It's a dark, dark roast tea. It's got like all these, all these nutrients and good stuff in it. I will actually um, when we do the shopping, we, when we start, I'm going to show that to you. I like that in the morning. I like a little bit of uh, stevia, stevia in it in the morning. It just like it's just like having my cup of coffee in the morning. So um, that's what I do. Another thing is iced tea. Iced tea doesn't have the same amount of acidity as coffee. It's got like maybe an eighth of it. I just read that somewhere. And so iced tea, watered down iced tea, what I do is I make my own tea and I try to do it herbal so you don't have the acidity in it. Um, but uh, if I'm out and they give you uh, regular tea that has caffeine in it, no sweat. You know, your body, if you're eating right and you're doing what you need to do, it's gonna take care of that little bit of caffeine that you might put in your body. <laughs> but sodas, mmm no sodas oh my gosh do i need to even tell you people so bad so bad for the acidity for just uh, don't even just no sodas sorry okay um all right so these are the tw the 20 questions that every day you're going to ask yourself on the 21 day cleanse and um number one did you abstain from coffee <laughs> did you abstain from alcohol did you abstain from animal products? Uh, did you abstain from crack? Ha <laughs> ha, sugar. <laughs> did you dry brush today? No. Did you clean your sinuses with a good neti pot? These are all these nice things you can do during the 21 day cleanse that will, you know, give you a little lift. Uh, did you meditate or pray for 15 minutes today? Uh, did you chew your meals thoroughly and mindfully, not just shoving it down and running out the door? Uh, did you laugh out loud and tell someone you loved him today or her? <laughs> I love you guys. There you go. Did you spend time in nature? Even five minutes is better than nothing. You know what? That is so... Being out in nature, when I was really, really sick, I couldn't even... I barely got out of bed every day. My kids, uh, my son-in-law, who was living here with my daughter at the time they were he was going through medical school and um they were living with this and he's like mom you got to get out of the room you need to get out and get some sunlight you even just sitting downstairs with the sunlight coming through the winch wind or windshield or windows is better than nothing so i started getting up and they set me on the porch in my porch swing with a cup of tea and a blanket wrapped around me and I would be like oh I just want to go back to bed I want to lay down 
But you know what? After about five minutes, I started hearing the birds sing and seeing all the beautiful trees around us and the cars go by. And it was just like, ah. Oh. So five minutes turned into 20 minutes and then all of a sudden I decided I wanted to go walking. And then, you know, it really does a lot. So if you could at all, possibly even five minutes a day of nature. Um, okay, did you get eight hours of sleep today? I never get eight hours, but maybe I will now if I do this right. Um, how much water did you drink today? All right. Uh, oh, and it says you can include fresh veggie juices in your calculation of water. Oh, I did not know that. I'm so excited. Okay, so we can go ahead and the juice that we drink, we can count that as part of our water. Did not know that. See, I haven't read this for so long. You know, this is, this is really, you know, good for me. Okay, uh, how was your elimination? There's that thing again. How did you poop today? We're not gonna talk about that. That's gonna be between you and your toilet. Um, how, do you feel, how do you feel physically? And how do you feel emotionally? These are the 20 days that we are supposed to ask ourselves every day of the cleanse. Okay, and I think what I'm gonna do, week might look like, uh, this one says, upon rising, warm water with lemon, optional, with cayenne pepper. Um, yeah, every morning when you get up, you're supposed to drink a, a cup of uh, tepid water. I don't do that. I just, I like cold water. Tepid water doesn't do it for me, but I do drink water first thing upon rising. And then breakfast would be green juice, followed by fresh uh, berries and a green apple. Easy peasy. A snack would be apples, pears, celery stick with almond or cashew butter. Uh, dinner would be a peanut Thai sauce with vegetables and quinoa. Uh, shaved avocado kale salad. Um, yeah, I mean, it gives you tons of different ideas in there. But you know what? What I do, I start with the absolute simplest, easiest way, and I'm going to show you how to do that when we uh, get to actually doing my vlogs. You guys can see what I do. And I'm gonna purposely make it so simple. You guys can play with recipes. You can make it as hard as you want. If you're a cook and you, you enjoy this stuff, you can go all the way with it. Um, I am going to try to do, keep it pretty simple so you guys can know that it's not a lot of work, not in reality. Okay, so you guys, I am so, I'm so excited. So tomorrow, guess what? Tomorrow, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna grab, oh, one more thing I forgot. Oh my goodness, exercise. During the 21 days, we wanna try to get up and we wanna move our bodies. She says she gets up and just dances to some kind of groove every day. You know what, I'm down with that, I can do that. Or walk, take a walk, if you're bed bound, do leg raises, do some stretching. There's actually apps for that. Um, if you wanna try to do a, uh, a 5K run right now would be fun if you're in fit. Uh, if, you're, if you're fit enough, there's the uh, couch, to, couch to 5K um, in five, day, five weeks or something. I don't know, it's an app I saw. You could do that. I mean, get creative. If you're in bed and you're not doing anything, even if it is just to walk around your house more times than normal. I mean, anything counts. Move your body. Okay, so now we know what we're supposed to be doing, right? We know what is good for us. We've learned about the protein, the animal protein, sugar, uh, high fructose, whole foods, we don't want packaged foods. That comes in a that comes in a package, and it was processed by man. Then we we don't want that. And tomorrow, when I go through our, my cupboards, um, you'll see exactly what I mean. Okay. Um, all right. That's it. So tomorrow, I'm going to get up and I'm going to pick up my camera and I'm going to 
go and vlog the whole day. So you probably won't get it until night. You guys are gonna be a day behind everything I do if you're looking to me to know what to do. If you've got the book and stuff, then you'll be ready to go without me. So what I'll do is I'll make sure and get it up. I'll do it, I'll film during the day, edit at night, get it up for the next day, and then you can see it and then you can copy it per day if that's what you want to do. All right, I just want to make this work for you guys. You know what, and I read um, that by another influencer said, Jody, your numbers are gonna crash, your views are gonna suck because people don't like ongoing projects on one channel. They like to get all their information in one and then go on to the next and the next and the next. They said vlogging gets you the least amount of views. So I know that's to be true, but you know what? I just feel in my heart that this is the right thing to do. So I don't care. If it helps even a handful of people and better their lives, then you know, the YouTube gob the YouTube gods can nothing. Just get away. Alright. But what I do appreciate, you guys, it makes a huge difference if you watch videos from front to back, you know, watch the whole video and watch the ads. Those things, that that is what gives me my income, gives me enough money to where I don't have to work. I can just do this. So, all right. If you are not following me and you want to join us along our journey, hit that subscribe button and set that notification bell to ring. It's free, it's easy, and you would be it would mean the world to me. So I will see you ah, tomorrow at To Keep Free Cancer for day one of the Crazy Sexy Cancer Diet. <laughs>